Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophie here and you're with Sophie Stage. And today we're going to be a little bit educational. So looking at the back, the one year that's gone uh, since I started my channel, I realized how much uh, things have changed. So I've gone from a hundred, uh, like wondering whether I'm going to hit a hundred subscribers this month to having a hundred thousand and you know, lost count of how many keep on subscribing after every video. So it made me realize um, how difficult it was, it, it was for me in the beginning and how I couldn't really go and find any tips on how to start this. Yeah, there's some videos out there on YouTube channels. Uh, they are quite interesting, but it's always very, very difficult to make those first steps. So I thought I'll put this together for you based on what I've learned over the last year and focus on the major five points that I found quite a lot of people miss uh, when they start the YouTube channel and that's why it flops or it doesn't launch as quickly as they expected it to. So that's what we're going to talk about today. If you'd like to stay, it's going to be fun. <laughs> so tip number one, have a plan. So that's a very, very important thing. When I, have, when I started my channel, I didn't know what I want to launch as a content. I wasn't really sure what's the limit of it. I wasn't sure whether I should focus on my modeling tips, whether I should look behind the scenes of any modeling shoots that I was doing, whether I should focus on the outfits. It was just really difficult. I couldn't figure out whether I have to... I, I kind of wanted to try a little bit of everything and like show a lot of different videos because I thought people want you to be interesting and different and every video by itself. But really, you have to have a plan. You have to know what kind of content you will be releasing. You have to have a specific subject. So think about what your channel is going to be about and focus on that one thing that it's going to be. And then to start it off, it's ideally you'll be looking to get five or six videos that you can launch on your channel pretty much one after the other, if not all at the same time, so that you have content to show. So you're not just existing on the one video that you shot in your living room, but you have more to fall back on. And the other good thing about that is that you practice, so you get to shoot six different videos and you kind of fall into the routine of realizing how you do it best. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophie here. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Sophie here. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's so nice to have you here. And this is Sophie. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's very nice to have you here. And this is Sophie here again. Also, have a plan means being prepared. So I always know what I will be shooting next month. I always write down the ideas, schedule it, organize it. I know when I'm going to go and shoot it, uh, how many videos and all the content that I will be focusing on. I prepare the outfits um, and I prepare the locations, whether I'll get the camera or I have to do it on the back of my phone. So organize and always think in advance, even if you're in March and there's a, uh, you're already thinking about April and May, you have to be thinking about April and May because things happen. You might be busy, um, you can't be shooting every Friday. Uh, there might be something that happens on Friday. You called on a birthday party or whatever, you work late, you shift. So you can't shoot anything on Friday or you can't edit it on time. So it's best if you prepare so you've got enough content to release for the next three, four weeks, probably. That's ideal. So that's what have a plan means. And yeah, it has worked for me and he's, it's been really helpful and it makes, it helps me be ahead of the game. Tip number two, brand. So brand yourself. Make sure you have a logo, something that's very memorable. Sophie Stage, that's my brand and that's what people remember now when they come to see these videos. You see it in the beginning of the videos, you see it in the descriptions, it appears in the hashtags. If you do any um, Instagramming or any other social media, keep consistently adding that brand because that will increase your audience and it will increase um, 
the findings really of your brand, brand uh, this is what people will be finding when they search for you. Uh, so the more you add your brand, the more people will see, the bigger audience you will get and the quicker you will develop. Be consistent is very important. Consistently brand yourself. <laughs> So big tip number three, be frequent. What does that mean? Being frequent means having a specific time frame of when you release your videos and just sticking to that time frame. So if you will be releasing two videos a week on a Tuesday or on a Friday, try to stick to that as much as possible. Yeah, here and there you might get out of that frame and you might be releasing a video on a Wednesday or on a Sunday. Make sure that you're focusing on being to treating this as a job so this is a job and every Friday if your audience is expecting a video you should be there for them that makes you reliable that makes the audience being aware of you being there um, and they're expecting your content so I suffer from this sometimes because I do sometimes have gaps in my uh, videos. I do try to avoid it as much as possible. I try to shoot on time, but you know, life gets on the way quite a lot of times. So make sure that you minimize those uh, moments when you're suffering from lack of frequency. Make sure that you're ahead of your game. And yeah, that's very, very important because you will be suffering from losing followers or not growing your uh, subscriptions uh, numbers as much as you've expected if you don't be if you're not frequent so big tip number four is interactions interactions are very very important and I am a little bit bad at it still I do try my best but I do suffer from not being very interactive the more you interact with your audience the more you keep them engaged the more they'll keep on following you, the more interested they'll be because there'll be a conversation going. There will be a little bit of, you know, there'll, there'll be a reality behind that unreal, uh, different world, I guess, <laughs> that you're creating in your channel. Uh, so you kind of, you create that connection with your followers, with your subscribers, and you're giving them that little bit of yourself. So you're, you're accepting them and you're becoming like a little family like a huge massive huge family yeah so do read your comments read the comments that they share try to like try to comment on the ones that you can it, it, it can become really difficult once you have like hundreds and hundreds of comments and sometimes youtube don't bring them up on the top you have to like search for new ones again and again and it becomes difficult the more content you have but you know, if you have some free time, if you can do that, if you can go through back through some the, some of your videos and comment on on uh, people's comments and likes, uh, that makes them feel important. That makes them feel heard, uh, and they do want to come back and hear from you again. Uh, so yeah, try to interact as much as possible. So big tip number five: be original with both your ideas and with your content. So being original, it's got two sides to it. Uh, so being original is what makes you, uh, why people watch your videos is because you are somebody, like you're creating a different content. There needs to be something different about it. Yeah, you could be doing the same as other people are doing, like try on hauls, but what's different about your way of presenting it or uh, your way of dancing or talking about football or whatever you want to do channel about? There needs to be something that's specifically yours and there needs to be a specific way of doing it. The other side of being original is that um, you have to be very, very mindful of copyrights. Uh, so uh, taking somebody's music that already exists, uh, that will get you slap on the wrist <laughs> from YouTube. So you have to be very, very careful. That will uh, stop you from monetizing your channel. That might prevent you from even being able to release your content. They might take your videos down. So be very, very careful. Always look for original, copyright-free music. If you are struggling to find music, YouTube has uh, this huge library of copyright-free music that you can add to your uh, videos. So you can start off with that. That's a really good, helpful um, library, really. There, like content that you can just use. 
um, and it's a really really good when you're starting out well I hope you enjoyed my big tips and if you did enjoy them please let me know because I'm thinking about adding more of these um, and yeah Hopefully it was helpful for some of you and hopefully you will go off and do a channel and I can follow you on them as well. Make sure they're interesting. Because, yeah, oh, I keep on seeing these people doing try on hauls, like, you know, dressing and all this and... Oh, <laughs> it's everywhere, man. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for liking and subscribing. If you want to see more of my content, of my modeling, um, and videos you can go on patreon uh, that helps me any funding that I get from there helps me fund my youtube videos and release more content on here so yeah thank you very much for your support I hope you like these and I hope to see you next week